Hello, welcome back. It's Sunday morning. Blue sky, it's a beautiful day and it's especially beautiful because I can hear something in the background. What could it be? Let's go find out.
I left him to it for 20 minutes so I could have my breakfast. I didn't want to just video him the whole time he's here, make him feel uncomfortable. But he's doing such a good job and I can see coming back here now that he's already started to clear out the well. This is looking so different and it's making it look bigger and bigger every single time I have a look down. I haven't been this excited since yesterday. So I'm not one for sitting around watching. I like to get my hands dirty and get involved in these things. But sometimes, especially as I am getting a little bit older as well, I have to take advantage of situations and just accept that sometimes machinery is clearly a better way of doing things. So while I'm standing here at the tank, I've just asked the guys, he has finished over there and we'll go and have a look in a minute. As I'm having so much trouble with these holes, Every hole I do seems to take forever. I'm just asking him to come and sweep around this area here so we can get down low enough to the pipes and there as well. Clearly a better way of doing it. And off he goes into the sunset. So maybe that one, when I put a sheet around there and I can stone it off around the outside, I can have that as my little plunge pool. That would be quite cool. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna be doing with that, but the hole was already there and he's just scooped out all of the crap that had fallen down there just to tidy it up a little bit. I'm not gonna worry about that just now. I'll come back to that another day. So now he's done around this tank. That's really helped me out as well because now I can see where the pipe was coming in. It's just sticking out down there. So I can now sort that out and put a tap on it. 
and this side down here he has revealed the pipe which you can see here which i'm going to put back into that hole so now we know it's down in that direction but that saved me a bit of time as well so let's go and have a look at the well Wow, that is just incredible. The whole area looks completely different now. It's amazing. This is exactly what I was hoping it was going to look like, but to actually see it, I'll try and find a photograph way before I even started this well so you can see what the landscape was around here because we've been seeing it gradually change. I think it'd be nice to see if I can hunt out a picture of the before so you can see just what a mass massive change this is. It's quite incredible. but it's looking huge, it's like a crater. Water has come back up again, but I'm not worrying about that just yet. So going forward now, I've had plenty of time to think about this. I'd already set my mind last night, I think, but seeing it at this stage here and the conversation I had this morning, I think now that we can get this sorted out really quickly. I think I said a couple of weeks ago that I was gonna have this well finished this year but I was going to get the bulk of it done by the end of spring but worry not because this is going to happen really quickly and I'm not going to say much more than that I guess it's fairly obvious what I'm going to be doing but it is going to happen quick so now we've got it to this stage here I'm going to go to the shops I can only go to the bigger ones because it's a Sunday and everywhere else is shut and I'm going to get something around there just to stop anything and anyone from falling down because even now with that curved edge and the whole flat area even me, I think if I'm wandering around here at night aimlessly, I could fall down there. So I want to make sure I get that sorted out. And then tomorrow we'll go back over to the tank and see what we can start doing over there. And we'll come back to this very, very soon. So it's gone half past five, walking the dogs. And I can really feel that temperature has dropped from earlier on. It was about 18 degrees during the day, 18 degrees centigrade. But at night time at the moment, it's going down to about five degrees and it does go a little bit colder. And the bus obviously, well, being a bus, it's gonna be the same temperature inside as it is outside. So I have to be a little bit careful with that. My ritual at the moment is to walk the dogs. That gets the blood pumping, get it all circulating and I warm up and it's nice and comfortable by the time I go back because that bus is cold. I then light it and have a uh, shower. By that time it's gone dark and I put the dinner on. Then I just walk around the perimeter fence, watering all the plants, which normally takes one or two trips. So by the time I've done all that, I'm already warmed up from the shower. Uh, I can go back in the bus and it's nice and warm, which is really nice. But unfortunately, uh, when I wake up in the morning, the fire's out and I really feel that cold. But because it's been a dry heat in there, the inside of the bus, you don't get any condensation on the windows, which is really nice. And luckily, when I do wake up in the morning because I want to go to the toilet, um, I just put the electric blanket on to keep me warm for the rest of it because there's no point lighting a fire again, uh, wasting the wood that I need in the evenings. So it all kind of works out, but it is around about that time that I think I could have done this a slightly different way, possibly uh, not doing it with a bus. But it is a novelty at the end of the day and it was, was def definitely worth it.
there you go sorted turned out i had that orange stuff it's what i used when i was laying down the pipes from the front to the house goes on top before you put the soil back on so that's going to do nicely i know it isn't going to stop you from falling in there but seeing it around there if you've got eyes you're going to know and no one else walks around here it's only going to be me and the dogs and even then i can keep the dogs away from here and it's only going to be for a couple of days so that'll do looks quite smart on to the next thing ah the sun is going down again again what happened to yesterday well that last clip you saw was uh, on monday and we're now on wednesday i did a whole load of videoing yesterday up in the land and somehow i managed to delete all of it the whole day which i'm really disappointed about but i won't be doing that again in a hurry so i'll end the video on that note uh, before i go i just want to say thank you to a couple of people I won't say the names, but uh, they did do a little contribution through PayPal, which you'll see in the About section, which I really appreciate because it always goes towards helping me out with these videos. And uh, of course, as you know, I still have to work as well. I haven't talked to you much about that. I will be showing you in the future, in the next few weeks, actually, something that I think is going to be really exciting. So look out for that one. And I'll give you a little bit of an update in the next video to where we are with the well as well. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you on that note and just say, when you're watching the videos, by the way, if you see the adverts and they're not too long, try not to click out of them because that's where that little bit of revenue comes from and any little helps when I'm doing these videos, I really appreciate it. So anyway, until next time, Saturday, hope you enjoy the rest of the week. I hope you enjoyed this video and take care of yourself. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. See you soon. Bye-bye.